Hi everybody, this is Bonnie and I'm going to show you how I made this manly kind of card. I really love how it came out and it was a lot of fun to play with. So let's get started. The first thing that you are going to need is um, a piece of early espresso card paper or card stock that is four and a quarter by 11 and you're going to score it at five and a half the next thing you're going to need is a piece of cajun cream and you need this at four by five and a quarter. Then the next piece that you're going to need is a piece of not quite navy, which is three and seven eighths by five. And then we are going to punch out a bunch of different patterns paper. Um, this pattern paper will be retiring out of the Stamping Up catalog here um, June 1st. This pack was called um, Well Worn. So if you're interested in this particular designer series paper that I have, you want to get it before June 1st. Otherwise, any paper that you currently have will be great. You're going to need to punch out two modern label punches and one tab punch, which this punch will also be retiring in June. So if you would like to grab this punch, you know, hop over to my blog before June 1st because that will be done by the end of May. So let's get started putting the card together. First thing we needed to do is we punched out a bunch of squares. I punched out six of them in a one and a quarter inch square punch. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to round two Okay, then the next thing that um, we have to do is we're going to take and we're going to line up and we'll put adhesive on the back of um, these squares. I can't talk today, so I do my videos late at night, so probably by the time you guys are seeing these, it is like almost 12.30 at night. Well, 12.30 at night for me. I don't know what time it is when you guys are seeing them. So I am quite tired by then. <laughs> but it's quieter here in my house. <laughs> and I am just randomly putting these on here. Kind of spacing them. As... Um, it's just by my eye contact, nothing. Okay, so it looks like that. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take um, the piercer and the mat pack and we're going to punch a hole right here in this one. Oh, I forgot that on video. I think that one go. And then we are going to punch two holes fairly far apart. You don't want them real close together. Then we're going to take one of these um, safety pins that comes in the little, what is this? Vintage trinkets. And we're going to run the safety pin through the two holes. And that's okay that that's roughed up. I like it a little roughed up. It's going to a man. <laughs> it's a manly card. 
And then I took the button that was also in the trinket. I forgot I already punched the hole. Okay, so we got them. So now we're going to take and we're going to fold the little tab punch in half. So you have your crease there already. Then I'm taking some Whisper White um, craft ink and I'm stamping Happy Birthday. And I'm going to put this, I like to put it sideways using my grids. And then I kind of tip down and I stamp it on. It's crooked, so it's okay. You have four chances with this card. That's the wonderful thing about it. <laughs> so I need to really tip down and line it up. Oh, I'm batting a thousand here. There we go. That one's better. Okay, so that, once I get that, I am going to take it over and I'm going to put some embossing powder in it. Now, I did not um, pre-static, you know, the paper because if anything sticks on it, I think it gives it a little character and especially for a manly card. I mean, I do try to get some of it off, but I'm okay with those little specks. I think it looks kind of cool. So I'll set this aside and then we're going to heat this up. Okay. Then we're going to put some adhesive in the inside. I'm going to stick it right up here on the top. I want it to hang off a little bit because I want it to hang off the other on the other card too. Also, uh, then I'm going to take some um, baker or not baker twine linen thread. I'm going to flip, flip this card over, and I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive on both sides, and I am just going to wrap this around about three times. Okay. Then we're going to take and we are going to adhere this card to the Cajun cream. So it looks like that. Then we're going to take Stampin' Dimensional and I'm just going to put a couple dimensionals on each one of these. The button one with the one with just the button brad I'm going to bring that back. I don't want it quite so far in, so right about there. And then this one, the one with the pin in it, I'm going to have it so it's over just a touch farther. So it just has a different um, affection there. So this one might have to move over a little bit more. My, uh, what do you call it? My foam was hanging off the end on the back side. There we go. Alright, take my scissors and we will trim this off. So there's the card front. Now we're going to take this and we're going to adhere it to the base.
and there you go and there you have it everybody this is just a really fun easy quick little card for a manly birthday card and I love how this just gives it a little extra texture I thought about it afterwards it wouldn't have been cool to have some throughout the card maybe I'll have to play with that next time but um this is just a really fun cool card and if you wanted to I did put a little um, glue dot behind there this one didn't want to stay down good but this one seems to be staying down okay so I guess it all depends I think it has to do with your width of uh, this one's a little smaller um, separation from the holes but um give this a try and use up some of that designer series paper that you have um that's one of my goals this year is to try and use more designer series paper than i have been thanks everybody have a nice day Bye bye